All right. Uh, just in talking to these guys, they're already about 10 times smarter than I am. It's uh, the morning brew, and we're going to talk about a startup today with a, a new, are you, are you calling it a, an app? Everything's an app these days. This is a program or what? So it, an app is a component to it, but we're actually right. kind of a, a, a cloud-based platform that has okay. both hardware and software. I want you to uh, meet a couple of guys. Morgan Nelson is sitting next to me here, one of the co-founders of a company called PiFi. And Samat Jain is also here, one of the co-founders of the company. Samat, good to meet you as well. Good morning. You're, um, you're both involved in this technology. Essentially, this is, this is to help parents track what their kids are doing online, yeah. which every parent wants to do. Right. Uh, who, who came up with this? Is this a joint effort here? Yeah. Uh, so I pitched this idea at Startup Week in Albuquerque back in April. Uh, if you remember Startup Week in Albuquerque, it's where people pitch uh, business yeah. ideas and try to see if they can get something out of them. And obviously it clicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we played second place and uh, we, were, uh, we were encouraged to apply to ABQID, the startup accelerator that came right. here. And we're going to talk about that and uh, we'll talk about PiFi and everything else. Actually the website is kidsworstnightmare.com. Great title. <laughs> yeah, we think, it, we think it is kind of a kid's worst nightmare. Um, so the company name is, is PiFi, um, but uh, um, it, it was a working title. Uh -huh. um, so PiFi uh, is kind of, a, kind of a, a spin on the math. So you've got the mathematical you know, theorem pi, right? Uh -huh. and, and then you're using a Wi-Fi network. Oh, so it was a way to get kind of math and Wi-Fi in one name. And so that's how we I came see. up with, with PiFi. All right, so walk us through what this, this does, and then we'll talk about startup. Uh, stuff first of all, Samad. So the tentative idea for the product is that, um, like when you go to Starbucks and hotel, you get something called a captive portal that says pay up or log in. Right. We want to bring this into the home such that when kids try to use things like their Xbox or the Game Boy, they get greeted with some kind of academic problem, like a math problem, and they have to earn their time on the internet. Say what 10 a great minutes idea! Per oh, so you have to uh, solve a problem or accomplish some kind of educational task. To get more time online. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they have to earn time on the internet by answering questions. Okay. So they can be math questions, science questions, um, you know, really any kind of, of question. Uh, what can be educational related? It can be music related. Um, it's kind of it's a really flexible kind of tool, you know, age appropriate and kind of tailored to the student. And so on their screen, they can't they can't even go to Google to find out the answer. No. Exactly. Because they, they have to know this. Exactly. Or go look it up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Interesting idea. Yeah. Uh, did you beta test this with kids? So we're, we're actively developing kind of what the wants and needs are of parents. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, we kind of have a notional idea of what, what it should look like or, or what, what we think it's going to look like. Um, and right now we're talking to parents and, and we're really kind of wanting to talk to more folks to understand what their needs are and how we can build a product that, that actually solves those. Yeah. Very interesting. Is this aimed at a certain age group or um, uh, how, how are you designing it for for what age appropriate uh, audience? Right. So we're, we're looking, um, our target market is kids from six to about 13. Uh, so kind of uh, kindergarten through through kind of middle school uh -huh. before kids really get kind of a cell phone and they're, okay. and they're out, out in the world. Okay. How do you make a buck or two doing this? So our plan was to, besides selling the hardware part, uh -huh. is have a monthly subscription fee where we'll provide new problems so the children's never bored, and also where parents can track uh, what kind of problems their children are getting wrong. For example, right now there isn't an easy way for a parent to find out, is my child bad at fractions? They have to <laughs> go talk to a yeah. teacher, etc. PiFi, they can do it themselves at home. Ah, very interesting. Now, let's talk a, a little bit about the startup side of all of this. Um, you pitched this at, at an event, and, and talk about that again, Samad. So, uh, Startup Weekend, the idea is that uh, tagline's all talk, no, all, all, all action, no talk. Right. It is you try to develop a business plan uh -huh. and a product within 54 hours, basically locking yourself in there for the weekend. Sure. Did you guys have this kind of in the back of your mind when you went in, or? Uh, yes, uh, initially when I went, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to work on someone else's idea. Uh, Wasn't that happy with the ideas that, were there, that were there, so I pitched my own. Uh, Morgan, is he the math whiz behind this? Yeah, he's, he's tons smarter than I am. He's one of our developers and really understands uh -huh. the technical components to it. Yeah. Um, 
and I'm certain if there were a math question, I could come to Samat. <laughs> Absolutely. What's your background, Samat? Uh, so I have a degrees in computer science and mathematics from MSU. So I went to high school and college in New Mexico. Uh-huh, great. Uh, graduate school, um, biomedical informatics. Where are you going with this? Is this just one of uh, several ideas that you have going forward? Uh, to uh, tons of ideas. Do you really? Yeah. I can just tell. I'm looking at you. I mean, your, your, your mind is just generating all this stuff. Uh, uh, Margaret, what's your background? So, um, grew up in Las Cruces. I went to NMSU, uh -huh. earned two degrees there, um, moved up to Albuquerque about four years ago, um, completed my MBA at UNM, and uh, now I'm working with some smart folks. This is interesting. Where do you see this? Do you see this as a company that's going to develop several things, or does each, each application uh, and program that you develop, is it is its own company? So I think that under the kind of the, the PiFi umbrella, um, we have the option, the opportunity to do quite a few different products. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, that's, that's looking in the future. I think our, our horizon right now is trying to get um, uh, some good working models uh, right. and, and kind of proven concept in the next six months. That's great, and, uh, and then you're going to be the marketing guy trying to get it out there. Right, right. That, that's why they brought me on to help uh, <laughs> help out, make sure that we have enough people that actually want to buy it. Yeah. That's an interesting idea. What do you think the subscription uh, price point is going to be? Have you thought about that yet? So we've given we've given a little bit of thought, um, and after we develop the product, we're going to begin testing some costs. We're looking um, something in the Netflix kind of range. Yeah. You know, um, parents spend money on Hulu Plus and Netflix and sure. all these different types of things, sure. and uh, we think that it's a, a pretty good thing if you can spend that kind of money to make sure your kids are spending the right amount of time online. I think it's doable. Now I understand that you're not uh, selling subscriptions right now. You're you're looking for input, feedback, um, any any Absolutely. questions. Uh, it's a great time to kind of test drive this. Uh, when you go to kidsworstnightmare.com, what am I going to see? So. Uh uh, our website uh, has a, a, a big picture of a kid using an iPad, has uh -huh. a little uh, little description of what's going on. And there's a button that says, you know, sign up for updates. And mm -hmm. we'd really like people to go in and uh, put in their email address and, and let us contact them. We, Larry, we want to go in and get some more customer feedback on what we're doing. And, uh, you know, the more people sure. we can get, that's exactly what we're looking for. So if, if you're a parent that's looking to do something about controlling internet access for your children. Mm -hmm. This is a company that's trying to help you. Absolutely. So go there and give them some feedback on what your concerns are and, and that kind of thing. I was just talking to some of the crew members who have young children here and I said, would you use this? They said, absolutely, it's yeah. a big deal on, uh, on trying to control what the kids are seeing on the internet. Now you can go into your, the computer and, and do a history search and see what they've been looking at, mm -hmm. but that's that's after the the horse has left the barn. If exactly. You will. Mm -hmm. You're, this is stopping them right at the front. Right. Very interesting. Now, when when the kids earn more time on the internet by answering a question, how much time are they getting? Is it a variable? It's a variable. Won't the parent be able to configure that? Maybe the child will automatically get an hour per day, and that to solve problems, get more than that. Um, Maybe after a certain time, like after 8 p.m., getting closer to their bedtime, um, each question's worth slightly less. Uh, these are the kind of things that we want to talk to parents about. Very interesting. What's the best? One thing we want, you know, out of the box, we want it to be simple for parents that don't want to mess with a huge setup. But if you're a parent that wants to be involved in kind of, you know, what kind yeah. of questions and things like that, you can get under the hood and make some customizations to it. Very interesting. Um, and have you gotten a sense of how much time on the internet is a fair amount of time for kids that you're trying to target? Uh, not yet, but uh, one statistics we have is that the average kid spends 6.5 hours a day Online. on the internet, various devices, yeah. uh, con game consoles, etc. And every parent we've talked to so far wants that number to be less. Less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whatever that number is, there'll be a consensus. Right. Very interesting. And I, I like that you're asking for parent feedback right now. Yep. Yep, we're certainly not selling anything. We want to talk to you and understand, you know, where the pain points are, where current solutions fail, and how we can meet that for you. Um, how did you first get started in the startup community here? And give us kind of your, your perspective on uh, the startup community here and what you think of it. Sure. Um, so I actually met Samad about a year and a half ago. We worked on several projects together before this. Um, we, we incidentally met at Startup Weekend in 2013. Uh -huh. uh, we worked on, a, on a, uh, an app that was trying to link craft beer 
breweries with craft beer drinkers. Um, you know, it didn't go anywhere. It's kind of a, a hard thing to, yeah. to do, um, but certainly I made a connection, and so now we're back. We're back at it. So I've been in the startup community for about, uh, I guess, three years now. Wonderful. Yeah. It's great to meet you guys, and I, I like where you're going with this. And I wish you all the success in the world. Uh, I think uh, I think this is going to be fascinating, and I can't wait to see what else Samad has in his brain. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Morgan, appreciate Thanks, Samad. Thanks so much. Thank great to meet you both. PiFi, uh, go to the website, kidsworstnightmare.com, and uh, take a look. Parents, they want your feedback on that. Hey, the Morning Brew continues in just a moment. Our next guest will be with us right after this.